The DXF import feature is a function of the IAI Excel software. The Excel software is compatible with XL, ACL, PCL, and SL type controllers. The Excel version 7.09 has the DXF import feature. If the version of the cell software you have does not have this feature, please contact IAI. The DXF import feature allows you to easily import a 2D DXF drawing into the Excel software. The DXF tool will automatically determine the positions from the DXF drawing. This saves time from having to teach each position individually. To get started using the DXF import tool, the first thing you need to do is open up the DXF file. To do this, go to File, Open, and then select DXF from the File Type drop-down menu. This should be the last one that's listed. The II Excel DXF software has several sample DXF drawings. Once you've opened the DXF file, a setting menu will open. This menu allows you to select what type of lines the DXF tool will look at to determine where the positions are located. Increasing and decreasing the division distance and division angle will increase or decrease the number of positions found with the DXF tool. Finally, the tool asks which two axes the pattern will be taught to. It's best to start with the default and adjust the division distance if you need more or less positions. Once you've finished making your selections, press the View button. A status window will open showing what type of objects were found using the DXF import tool. Close this window and maximize the one showing the DXF drawing. The DXF import tool imports the drawing to location value 00. zero. This position is relative to the home location of each individual axis. As the cursor moves, the axis information is updated in the bottom right hand corner showing what value in millimeters that cursor location represents. The view toolbar allows you to center the pattern in your viewing window. You can scroll to the left, to the right, up or down, and also zoom in or zoom out to get a better look at the full drawing. The bottom toolbar allows you to mirror the image horizontally, vertically, scale it up or down, rotate it, or offset it so that it matches the physical location of the positions in your application. For this example, the DXF is one half the actual size of the object and also the bottom left position needs to be located at value 100, 100. To do this, I will scale the drawing by a factor of 2 and I will offset it 175 millimeters in axis 1 and 175 millimeters in axis 2 in order to get the drawing in the correct location. I will then scroll out to recenter the pattern in my view window. When you finish moving the pattern to the correct location and orientation, the next step is to teach the positions to the position table. To start this, open up your position table. You can also create a new position table by going File, New, Position and selecting the controller type that you have. Click on the Create Position Data button and minimize your position table. Maximize the DXF Import tool once again. The next step is to teach the positions to the position table. In the toolbar, you can set the starting position number that the first position will be taught to in the position table. The remaining positions will be placed in consecutive order in the position table. The default is position 1, but this can be changed to any position number that you would like. There are two methods to teaching positions in the position table. The first method is to draw a box around the entire image, selecting all positions. When a position is selected, it will change to the color blue. In the first method, the DXF import tool will select the order that the positions are taught. The second method is to teach each position individually. To start this, press the Point Creating Order Specification button and select each position individually. The order that you select the positions will be the order that they are taught inside the position table. Once you've finished selecting the desired positions, the position information can now be copied to the position table. First, make sure that you have checked the Create Position Data box on the position table and you have set the starting position in the DXF toolbar. Now press the Create Position Data button. 
a window may pop up asking you to set the judging distance. If you have scaled the drawing to your actual size, leave this at zero and press OK. If you have used method one to teach your positions, it will ask you to select the starting position. Click on the blue indicator of the position that you would want to be taught as your first position. A confirmation window will pop up asking you to confirm that you would like to teach these positions. Once you've pressed yes, the indicators will turn from blue to orange, letting you know that the positions have been taught. If you click on an individual position in the DXF tool, it will tell you what position number that position has been taught to, as well as the access information. To confirm that the positions have been taught to the position table, we will now minimize the DXF import tool and maximize our position data table. As you can see, the position information has been copied from the DXF import tool to the position table, now allowing you to use these positions inside your programs. If you make a mistake at any point or would like to start over, you can simply press the DXF rereading button that looks like two green arrows. This will reload in the original file, allowing you to start from the very beginning. If you have any questions regarding the IIDXF import tool, please call your local IAI support office.